Bonjour. I have made it to Raiatea. Uh, we had a few hairy days on the sea with lots of wind and waves but we have been here now for a little while and I'm going to show you around at Raiatea. There's some really neat things to see and I'm in this great marina with a really great garden so I'm looking forward to showing you that as well. I'm heading downtown into Raiatea to check out all the plants that grow in pots. There are so many plants that are growing in pots down here and it's a really harsh environment with a lot of wind. There are palms, bougainvillea, uh, cordylines, frangipani, all growing in pots, creating a really nice garden feel to the area. I came across this pond with loads of water lilies and beautiful pink flowers. It's all in this complex of really interesting architecture downtown here in Ratia. Then we got a scooter and decided to head off down towards the Botanic Gardens and check them out in Ratia. Here we are at the Raiatea Botanical Gardens. I visited these gardens about 12 years ago and they have really been done up and look amazing. It's beautiful and peaceful here. I've stumbled across these gorgeous flowers uh, called Crepe Ginger, that's the easy name, or a Sheliocostus is the other name. And it's native to Southeast Asia and grown as an ornamental in parks and gardens. And I found my Porsche flower again. Look at that. Beautiful flowers on the path. In this forest area, there are all these luscious plants in the undergrowth called dumb cane. And it's not a particularly nice name, but dumb cane is extremely poisonous. And if you get any of the leaves or the sap near your mouth, it can inhibit your speech. Now, I believe here we're looking at a Tahitian chestnut and there's lots of them all growing in this forested area. It's mangrovey and swampy and apparently they really like that sort of conditions. Um, they can grow up to 30 meters tall and live for 80 to 90 years. They really feature these amazing roots um, which are fluted and fan out around the bottom. Um, looking really quite interesting. Bit of a tripping hazard in the dark I imagine. Now there's a um, taro plant here, and it's not your regular taro, it's a giant taro. Really luscious. Look at those ginormous leaves. Reminds me a little bit of elephant ears actually. Beautiful green. I understand this is a parakeet flower and it's great for putting in the vase because it can last up to three weeks and it resembles uh, the bird of paradise when it's in flower. It's really amazing, so much detail and colour. This garden has been really beautiful, it's been amazing to come back and visit, so peaceful and tranquil and lots of really interesting plants, lots of plants planted on mass that really look stunning. And it's back to our marina and to the amazing gardens in our marina. There's a flower here that's caught my eye and I believe it's the periwinkle. It's an evergreen ground cover, it's more like a shrub here and it's just really so dainty and colourful. Now I'm in the vegetable garden. A marina with a vegetable garden is such a good idea. And there's a variety of veg here. I think my favourite veg that's growing is 
some beans that I have noticed. This is a papaya tree. Um, there's a few hodgepodge things in here, like a cactus you're about to see. Yep, they put a cactus in the garden. But these beans are amazing and they're really long and they're really delicious and yummy. And I've enjoyed eating and cooking them. Here's a little baby tomato plant, the promise of good things to come. And here's the compost bin, so I can put my food scraps in here and know that they're going to uh, be used well to enrich the soil for other plants later. It's a really great idea. And here we are, back by the boat, there's this cool tree. You might remember I had a coconut tree on my boat a little while ago and I've nicknamed it Nutsy and thank you very much to Zoe who gave me that name and Nutsy has been sailing with us for um, a, few, a few rounds of sailing now and has started to produce these extremely sharp roots that are coming out the bottom. I also think that Nutsy was responsible for an, an ant infestation in the boat but anyway it's just getting a little bit tricky to take Nutsy with us and so where I am at the moment there is this lovely garden and there are lots of other little Nutsies around so I'm going to gift Nutsy to this marina garden and let it grow and be happy here in Tahiti where it belongs so thanks Nutsy for being on my boat and providing us with green leaves for a while but we're going to give you a new home. So here is Nutsy in its new home. Hopefully it'll be really happy. So that brings me to the end of this episode and the end of my time in French Polynesia and in the next episode we begin sailing to Samoa which is really exciting as we uh, move to a different place and carry on our adventure through the Pacific. So join me in the next episode as I check out a new island and until then au revoir. Goodbye.